The Lockheed CL-1201 was one of the most ambitious aircraft concepts ever imagined. A nuclear-powered flying aircraft carrier designed in the 1960s to stay airborne for over 40 days. With a staggering wingspan of 1,120 feet and a weight of nearly 6,000 tons, it was envisioned to carry up to 24 tactical fighter jets, turning the skies into a mobile launch platform. Powered by a massive 1,830-megawatt nuclear reactor, it would take off using 182 vertical lift engines before switching to four nuclear jet engines for sustained flight. The idea was bold and futuristic, but the challenges, like nuclear safety, structural complexity, and extreme costs, kept it grounded. Though it never flew, the CL-1201 remains a symbol of Cold War-era innovation and imagination that pushed the boundaries of what aviation could become. Bombardier has just made history with a successful inaugural flight of the Global 8000, now the world's fastest and longest-range business jet. Reaching a top speed of Mach 0.94, and even surpassing the sound barrier during testing at Mach 1.015, this jet is the fastest civil aircraft since the legendary Concorde. Designed for ultimate luxury and performance, it boasts a range of 8,000 nautical miles and features a spacious four-zone cabin that can host up to 19 passengers, including a principal suite with a full bed and shower. Its smooth flex wing design and powerful GE Passport engines enable it to access thousands more airports than its competitors. Expected to enter service in 2025, the Global 8000 is setting a new standard for speed, comfort, and global reach in business aviation. Nuclear-Powered Sky Hotel Imagine soaring through the skies in a luxurious hotel that never needs to land. The Sky Cruise, a visionary concept by science communicator Hashim al Ghaili, envisions a nuclear-powered flying hotel capable of accommodating up to 5,000 guests. Equipped with 20 electric engines powered by a small nuclear reactor, the Sky Cruise is designed to remain airborne for extended periods, offering amenities such as shopping malls, swimming pools, restaurants, and even a wedding hall. Passengers would be transported to and from the Sky Cruise via electric commercial airliners or private jets. While the concept pushes the boundaries of current aviation technology, it represents an ambitious glimpse into the potential future of air travel. The Northrop YB-49 was a revolutionary flying wing bomber that looked like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. Developed in the late 1940s, this tailless jet-powered aircraft had a massive 172-foot wingspan and was powered by eight turbojet engines, allowing it to reach speeds near 500 miles per hour at altitudes of almost 50,000 feet. It promised a sleek, futuristic design with improved aerodynamics, but it struggled with stability issues that made precise bombing difficult. Tragically, one prototype broke apart mid-flight in 1948, killing all five crew members on board. Despite these setbacks and the eventual cancellation of the program, the YB-49's bold design paved the way for future innovations. Its influence can clearly be seen in today's B-2 Spirit stealth bomber. It was a daring step forward that helped shape the future of aviation. The Lockheed Martin State Route 72 Dark Star the next evolution in hypersonic flight and a potential game-changer in global defense strategy. Developed by the legendary Skunk Works team, this unmanned aircraft is designed to soar at blistering speeds of up to Mach 6, making it twice as fast as the legendary State Route 71 Blackbird. With its cutting-edge turbine-based combined cycle engine, the State Route 72 can launch from a standstill and accelerate straight into hypersonic speeds enabling it to conduct high-altitude reconnaissance or deliver precision strikes anywhere in the world within an hour. Built from advanced heat-resistant composites, the Dark Star is engineered to handle extreme conditions while maintaining stealth and agility. Expected to enter service in the 2030s, the State Route 72 isn't just a jet, it's a glimpse into the future of warfare and aerospace innovation. The B-1B Lancer the U.S. Air Force's supersonic heavy bomber known as the Bone. This powerful aircraft has been dominating the skies since 1986 with its sleek, 
variable sweep wing design and four afterburning engines that push it beyond Mach 1.2. Built to carry up to 75,000 pounds of precision-guided weapons, the B-1B is a versatile war machine capable of striking targets across the globe with speed and precision. Equipped with cutting-edge radar and electronic countermeasures, it can fly in any weather and evade enemy defenses with ease. Even today, it remains a critical force, recently making headlines with live-fire drills over the Korean Peninsula. With upgrades underway, the B-1B Lancer is set to remain a cornerstone of American air power into the 2040s. The Boeing B-377 Pregnant Guppy was one of the strangest-looking yet most important aircraft in aviation history. Designed in the 1960s by Aerospace Lines, it featured a massively enlarged fuselage built to transport oversized components for NASA's Apollo space missions. Its unique, bulbous shape and detachable tail made it capable of carrying huge rocket parts that no other aircraft could handle at the time. Before the Guppy, these parts had to be shipped slowly by sea, but this aircraft slashed transport times and became a crucial link in America's race to the moon. It didn't just support space exploration, it paved the way for future heavy lift giants like the Super Guppy and Airbus Beluga. Recoverable launch boosters are transforming spaceflight by making rocket launches far more cost-effective and sustainable. Traditionally, the first stage of a rocket would be discarded after use, falling into the ocean and becoming scrap. But now, thanks to advancements led by companies like SpaceX with their Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, boosters can return to Earth and land vertically, either on drone ships or landing pads, for refurbishment and reuse. This reusability drastically lowers the cost of each launch and accelerates the pace of space exploration. Other companies, like Blue Origin with New Shepard and ULA with its upcoming Vulcan Centaur, are also developing their own reusable systems. These innovations mark a critical shift in rocket technology, bringing us closer to affordable, frequent, and sustainable space missions. Imagine stepping aboard the largest passenger aircraft ever conceived, a double-decker superjet designed to carry up to 900 people. This was the vision behind Lockheed Martin's Very Large Subsonic Transport, or VLSD. Developed in the 1990s, the VLSD was engineered to combat airport congestion with a massive 17C Perot configuration and an innovative twin-deck design. With a wingspan of 282 feet and a length of 262 feet, this flying giant also featured folding wingtips and the ability to transport shipping containers inside its belly. However, despite its ambitious scale, the project was shelved due to challenges like limited range, high operational costs, and the need for airports to overhaul infrastructure. Though it never flew, the VLSD remains a striking glimpse into the future that might have been in commercial aviation. The trilobe hybrid airship is redefining the future of aerial transport with its unique blend of helium-powered buoyancy and aerodynamic lift. Unlike traditional blimps, this next-gen design, like the AT-2 Aerospace Z-1, features a three-lobe structure that boosts stability and generates up to 40% of its lift aerodynamically. That means greater efficiency, better performance in wind, and enhanced range, traveling over 1,000 miles with ease. What really sets it apart is its air cushion landing system, allowing it to touch down on snow, water, sand, or unprepared terrain without the need for a runway. From delivering cargo to remote areas to supporting emergency relief missions, the Trilobe hybrid airship is more than just a futuristic aircraft, it's a game-changer in global logistics. Airbus Beluga XL one of the most eye-catching and powerful cargo planes flying today. Introduced in 2020, this giant airlifter was built to support Airbus's growing need to transport massive aircraft parts, like two A350 wings at once, something its predecessor couldn't manage. Based on the A330-200 freighter, the Beluga XL has a payload capacity of 51 tons and a range of 4,000 kilometers. Its iconic whale-like design features an enlarged cargo bay, a lowered cockpit, 
and a special tail to handle bulky loads. It can even fit 26 small cars inside. Operating across 11 destinations in Europe, its quick 70-minute turnaround and compatibility with sustainable aviation fuel make it not only efficient but environmentally forward-thinking. The Beluga XL is a vital part of Airbus's mission to streamline aircraft production and revolutionize air cargo transport. The Boeing Pelican Ultra was an extraordinary concept aircraft that pushed the limits of aviation design. Envisioned in the early 2000s by Boeing Phantom Works, this supermassive cargo plane was designed to carry an astonishing 1.5 million pounds of cargo, enough for 17 M1 Abrams tanks, over vast distances of up to 10,000 nautical miles. What made it even more unique was its ability to fly just 20 feet above the ocean, using ground effect to reduce drag and dramatically improve fuel efficiency. With a colossal 500-foot wingspan and a total of 76 wheels to support its massive weight, the Pelican would have been the largest aircraft ever built, far surpassing the Antonov and 225. Though it never left the drawing board, the Pelican remains one of the most fascinating and ambitious concepts in aerospace history. The legendary Philippine Mars flying boat has completed its penultimate flight, marking the near end of an era for one of the world's largest and most iconic seaplanes. Originally built in 1946 for the U.S. Navy and later transformed into a firefighting giant in British Columbia, the Philippine Mars took to the skies one last time from Sprout Lake, finally landing in San Francisco Bay after a 4.5-hour flight. This historic journey was the first leg of its final move to the Pima Air and Space Museum in Arizona, where it will be preserved for future generations. With only one other aircraft like it remaining, the Hawaii Mars, this flight serves as a powerful farewell to an aviation titan that once ruled the skies and protected forests with massive water drops. Boarding Air Force One and arriving halfway across the globe in just two hours, that's the future Hermius is building. This Atlanta-based aerospace startup is developing a hypersonic jet capable of flying at Mach 5, five times the speed of sound, and it's caught the attention of the U.S. Air Force. In a bold vision for the future, Hermius has partnered with the military to explore how their next-gen aircraft could one day serve as the new Air Force One. Powered by a turbine-based combined cycle engine that shifts from turbojet to ramjet mode, this futuristic plane could revolutionize presidential travel. While the current Boeing 747-8 Air Force One is still on track for service, Hermius's concept points toward a high-speed, high-efficiency leap in executive aviation. If successful, this hypersonic innovation could reshape not just government transport but the entire future of flight. Stratolaunch is pushing the boundaries of hypersonic flight with its revolutionary Talon A test vehicle, launched from ROC, the world's largest airplane with a wingspan of 385 feet. In a historic breakthrough, the Talon A has reached speeds over Mach 5 and become the first fully reusable hypersonic test vehicle recovered since the 1960s X-15 program. Backed by the U.S. Department of Defense's Mach TB program, Stratolaunch is accelerating the development of next-gen hypersonic weapons by providing rapid cost-effective testing for critical systems like engines, sensors, and communications. With recent successes and a $24.7 million agreement with the Missile Defense Agency, Stratolaunch is set to lead the future of aerospace innovation and national defense. The Ericsson S-64 air crane is a flying giant that redefines heavy lift operations. With roots in the military CH-54, this helicopter has been reborn as a versatile workhorse capable of lifting up to 25,000 pounds. Its unique aft-facing pilot seat gives it unmatched precision, making it ideal for everything from logging and infrastructure construction to high-stakes disaster relief. But its most heroic role? Battling wildfires, thanks to a massive 2,650-gallon tank that refills in just 45 seconds and delivers powerful water drops right where they're needed most. With the latest S64F Plus upgrade, featuring modern engines, composite blades, and advanced controls, the air crane is not just staying relevant, 
it's leading the future of aerial heavy lifting.